Hello everyone, welcome to Electric Vehicles and this is Pavan, Pavan Kumar. Now I am here at Venkatramana Tata Motors which is located at Gachibali, Hyderabad to review recently launched electric car that is Tata Nexon EV Max. Actually this Tata Nexon EV Max is the later version of Tata Nexon which is one of the uh, best selling car in India. After the success of Tata Nexon EV, uh, the company had decided to launch Tata Nexon EV Max with extra range and large battery pack. Actually, this Tata Nexon EV is not having much difference uh, when compared to normal Tata Nexon EV, uh, which is a base version. The only difference uh, between these two cars is uh, it is having a larger battery pack you know, and also it offers a higher range. That is the main difference. And also, this car is having some updated features when compared to not normal Tata Nexon EV. Well, coming to the design of this car, it looks like a standard Tata Nexon EV, but the difference is it is having a skin color of intense steel, which makes the difference between standard standard car and this Tata Max EV car. There is nothing special in this car which states that it is a long range EV Max. In front it is still get halogen lamps with LED DRLs. It had no change in the dimensions and the dimensions of this car are uh, length is 3993mm, width is 1811mm and the height is 1616mm. It is having the dimensions like a standard Tata Nexon card. However, the ground clearance is now 190mm which is 15mm less than standard car. Or to this side, this car is having R16 diamond cut alloy wheels and the design is also different from the normal car. And this car is having uh, 4 displays for 4 wheels, that's a good thing for this car. If you observe the, uh, if you observe these wheels carefully, uh, you will notice a slightly different design uh, because as it is a new version, that's why they have designed these alloy wheels slightly different. So guys, this is the charging port of this vehicle. With 3.3 kW AC charger, it will take 15 hours for this car to get fully charged. But the company is also providing a 7.2 kW AC charger. With that 7.2 kW AC charger, it will take around 6.5 hours to charge this vehicle uh, 100%. But for 7.2 kW AC charger, if you want that charger, it will be charged additionally around 60,000 rupees. And with the option of 50 kW DC charger, it will take uh, 56 minutes only to charge from 0 to 80%. So guys, now we are inside this car and if you observe this carefully, unlike the exterior, the interior of Tata Max is having a fair amount of changes and the central console in the drive selector that is now digital and it is having a light also. If you look this closely, it is having a tri-arrow design. So this is a tri-arrow design. So it is having four modes, first one is parking, then reverse and next one is neutral and the fourth one is drive mode. So these are the four modes that uh, this car is having and also we are having one is echo mode and the second one is sports mode. And also here they have given electronic parking brake and auto hold functions. We have our regenerative switch here and here uh, it is conveniently placed to adjust region levels. And this is our echo mode and this is our sports mode. Echo mode switch and sports mode switch that they are uh, crafted on this central console uh, very beautifully. And there is also a wireless charger if you see here, which is not there in previous version of Tata Nexon. This car is having automatic rear view mirror, front ventilated seats the, and the other updates includes air purifier along with some tech features like uh, uh, the updates Z connected apps and that now will get a uh, 48 features in that. Well coming to the safety factors of this vehicle it consists two airbags and ABS with EBD, ESP, tire pressure monitor, hill start and hill descent. These are the safety features of this vehicle and also uh, well coming to the battery pack uh, they have uh, enlarged the battery pack to get maximum range for this vehicle and the battery pack is IP67 rated battery pack and coming to other changes in this vehicle uh, it includes slight graphic changes for the TFT display which show you the region levels and the drive mode you are in so this is the front part uh, front compartment of this vehicle now I will go back side and I will tell you how it is so guys this is the rear cabin of this vehicle sadly Nexon Max doesn't have any extra rear space uh, it is uh, somehow congestant uh, congestant only so coming to the food space food space is uh, somehow congestant uh, it is like a normal not Tata Nexon EV only here they have not given any kind of USB port uh, so it is a uh, it is a missing part of this vehicle but if you see here here they have given a small uh, uh, charging board so that we can charge and this is the armrest with uh, without this uh, three members can sit comfortably or with these two members can sit 
here also they have given some space so that we can include some kind of uh, some kind of things here also uh, under the armrest also they have given some space so that we can keep uh, some kind of things here the main difference between standard tata nexon ev and this car is this sunroof they have included the sunroof which is a one touch if you want to open this you have to just press the one button with one button we can open this that is the best part of this vehicle uh, coming to the interior also it looks very luxurious this car is having a battery pack Uh, which is having a capacity of 40.5 kilowatt hour which is 10 kilowatt hour more than standard car that's why it is having an increased power well coming to the peak power it is having 1 for 143 hp peak power and also 250 nm torque in city and eco mode the power is restricted to 97 hp and 170 nm torque and for sports mode the power is 143 hp and with this power this can attain uh, 0 to 100 km per hour speed in 9 seconds only and it will significantly more responsive than a standard car and this car top speed has increased to 137 km per hour with the larger battery pack uh, it gives you a range of 437 km which is more than 125 km than a standard car and if you observe this car uh, it is having 0 to 3 modes in region levels the change of region levels also alters the overall range of the car so if you are in sports mode with low region mode uh, you will have the least range if you are in eco mode with highest region you will have a maximum range so coming to the exclusive features of this vehicle compared to the normal uh, tata nexon ev it is having halogen headlamps uh, red disc brakes 7.0 inch touch screen wireless charging apple car play and android auto ventilated front seats rear uh, ac vents sunroof auto dimming ivrm and auto hold air, purif air purifier these are the exclusive features for this uh, tata nexon ev max uh, which makes difference from normal uh, tata nexon ev car so actually what i am thinking is uh, this car is having a price of 21 lakhs uh, which is a on road price and if you want to have a 7.2 kilowatts ac charger you will be additionally charged 60000 rupees uh, which is around 21 lakh 60000 which is only a on road price and with the life tax and also gst and kind of things it will be around 25 to 26 lakhs with that much of money it is value for money i agree with that Uh, but what i'm thinking is uh, they are providing only two airbags in front only so coming to the warranty of this vehicle they are giving uh, 80 years or 160000 kilometers which ever comes earlier on motor and battery pack and which is uh, more than enough so that's all about this car guys if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family members what's your thought on this please let us know in the comment section for more such videos please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the video go green go electric